Howdy, everybody. It's your pal, Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. It's going to be the 4th of July weekend. I don't know what, if anything, I'll get up to, but I'm ready to bring y'all along. Friday morning's workouts are already done. This is day five of me doing Smithy's workout routine in the morning. I'm actually doing more than just that some days, and I'll get into that a little bit later. But for now, before I start work, which I need to do in a minute, I thought I would just update you. I got a new electrolyte drink. It's more expensive, not gonna lie. It's from Perfect Keto. Perfect Keto, for those of you who are not on keto, may not be important, but for those of you who are, it's a great company. They have really great ingredients. They're very well known, very well respected, and a bit expensive. But they're having a 4th of July sale right now, so I don't know if it'll still be on by the time you see this, but I did not get this in the sale, but I probably will get some. So. I noticed that they also had a black cherry. Black cherry is my favorite. So I thought, you know, it's more expensive, but it's a really good, reputable company. Maybe I'll see some difference. And with me working out in the morning, I thought I'd give it a shot. And I have to say, this is not my first time having it. I had some yesterday, not really thinking that much of it. This stuff is delicious. <laughs> and I'm thirsty because I just worked out. Oh, it tastes so good. Like, the taste is just above and beyond that other one. The other one is fine. But I really do think maybe it's all marketing and in my head. But yesterday, it really seemed to help kind of even cool me off a little bit faster and not have me so run down. I do also have the rest of my bang from yesterday uh, because I didn't finish it. But we're going to start off with this electrolyte water, get into some work, drink a bang, and then just pick y'all up along the way. Well, it is finally time to give that keto ice cream bar a try. Every night, I'm like, maybe I'll have tonight, maybe I'll have tonight, and then I don't ever have it. Tonight, guys, we're going to have it, and I'm going to taste it for you to see. So it looks just like a little ice cream bar. These have 2 grams net carbs per bar, no added sugar, 160 calories per bar. This is the peanut butter cup flavor. There are different flavors. I believe the other one that I've seen on people's hauls was sea salt and caramel. So, I love ice cream. And I have to say, they're not all bad. Even the keto ones are, are kind of good. Some of them, not so much. I had a halo top once that had the weirdest consistency of, like, cotton. I don't know. We're going to taste this one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. The chocolate coating is crunchy. Like you would expect to find on a normal, regular ice cream. The chocolate tastes good. It's like a sugar-free... Why are they messing to me so late at night? Oh my god. I'm not going to worry about it. It's hard. Sorry. It's hard. It's a fun. A lot of keto ice creams, they tell you to leave it sit out for 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm trying to get just a bite. It's got a peanut butter flavor to it for sure. It's definitely a peanut butter with a chocolate coating. It's not a super strong peanut butter. Not like a Reese's peanut butter or anything like that, but it's got like a nice little peanut butter chocolate flavor. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. Mm. I'm going to just see what they're getting up to so that I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the night. And I can watch Loki, which I always forget comes out on Wednesday and not on Friday, Misty. You can watch it earlier. That goes for the rest of you, too. If you're not watching Loki and you're a Marvel fan, you should. It's pretty good. And I hope y'all are having a great Friday night. Hey, everybody. It is Saturday. And did y'all know it's July because some part of my brain forgot. And my car registration was done in June. Guys, I'm a lawbreaker. Can y'all believe it? I'm a lawbreaker, not on purpose, on accident. So we're going to go get that taken care of right now. But I was going to wait until we got to the ticket place to show you. Not ticket, like I'm getting a ticket, but it's called Big Ticket. It, 
big sticker. I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm just so excited right now. But I stopped at a gas station to get an energy drink and two things. One, I found this one, which is a zero sugar NOS Turbo. I used to love NOS energy drinks. Like they were one of my favorites. They're citrix, citrus flavored. Slow down, Misty. So excited. It's got three grams of carbs for the whole can. So it's more than a bang. But as something for a special treat, to try something new for y'all, I thought it would be cool. And I'm still going to try it because I'm going to drink it. But everybody, look, I'm so, I don't even know what to do with myself. Obviously, I can't even speak right because I'm so dosh garden excited. Dosh garden, I'm going to dosh garden y'all. Mountain Dew Zero Melon. <gasps> It's a zero sugar Mountain Dew. That's not just the regular. We're opening it already because I'm so excited. I need to taste it and tell y'all if it's any good or not. Oh, new favorite epic disaster. Three, two, one. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. It's no Code Red. I'm excited for the Code Red Zero. And I've actually had this one before. If you've been following along for a while, I don't remember if it, it was my second vaccine because on my second vaccine, I let myself have a real soda. I drank probably not much more than this of the real soda either. It's got that Mountain Dew flavor. It's good. I like it. I mean, we're definitely going to drink this, but we're going to save it. And what we're going to drink... Oh, I also got, just so y'all know, I got some chicharrones. Super strips. Pork with chili and lime. So it's got extra stuff in it. Extra seasonings and probably maltodextrin and things that aren't good for you. Yeah, monosodium glutamate, MSG, so it's going to be delicious, <laughs> but maybe not the best for you. But let's try this NOS one, because I'm actually really excited about, as excited as I was about the Mountain Dew. It was good. I enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to drink the whole thing. But I'm going to save it <clears throat> for later, and so that I can sort of savor it. Because this I'll just be drinking as I go, and might not focus on it as much. So. Oh. You got on my car. Rude, you got Fred wet. Fred. Fred is my car, for those of you who may not know. Mm. That is very drinkable for me. It reminds me very much of the NOS energy drink because it's got that little citrus undertone. This is good. This is good too. It's got the extra stuff like BCAAs and... This has 300 milligrams of caffeine, so it's up there with a bang. Um, so, don't know that I'll drink the whole thing, but this is what we're going to drink while we go get our inspection sticker done so that we can go get our sticker sticker. Let's hope we don't get pulled over in our first ticket. And we're all legal again. Fred's legal. We're not breaking the law, running around. Hey, and I talked to the best friend Amy, and in talking to her, realized I don't have anything to wear in a swimming pool, which I'm also going to need for vacation, but very well may possibly need tomorrow. I mean, it's probably going to rain, so who knows, but if there's a minute to get in the pool, I'll probably do it, <laughs> but I don't have anything to wear. So now we're at Walmart. Y'all didn't even know. We went to the sticker place. We got the registration. No, we got the inspection. Then we went to Kroger. Then we got the sticker. Now we're at Walmart. We're doing all the things today. I may even go get my um, oil changed because it's time. But I may, I may wait until before vacation. We'll see how it goes today. There's a live that's supposed to happen um, for Derek. They're picking teams, and I don't want to miss it. So I don't want to miss it. So I need to run into Walmart and find something to wear at a uh, swimming pool. I'll, I'll keep y'all posted. I should also mention, look, Princess Parking, Mama. I got right up front because it's about to rain, and I was like, ah, don't make me walk in the rain. I have an umbrella today, too, but I didn't want to use it. And ta-da, Princess Parking. 
Well, hello and happy Sunday to you. I hope that you have had a great 4th of July for those of you who are in America. For those of you who are in Canada, happy belated Canada Day. And for the rest of you, happy Sunday. I hope it was a good one. My Sunday is not only already in progress, but it's done. It's Monday. I'm not gonna, it's the next day and I'm wide awake, but it was a special occasion, guys. I got to go spend the day with my best friend, Amy, which I mentioned briefly. I found that swim trunk. I went and I swam a bunch and we had some adult time too. <laughs> And then we stopped that, and then I stayed there for a few hours after that, and then so that I could drive home, fine. So that's how we do. We party during the day, we sober up at night, and then we come home too late to go to bed on the same day that we woke up. But that's okay. And it was great fun. In fact, guys, it was so much fun. We're doing it again in a couple of hours now, actually. I was going to say tomorrow, but that's not true. Anyway, this weekend has been really good. I don't know that there's really many outtakes for you because I just turned on the camera and started talking this week. But I hope you've had a great weekend. I hope you have a great week coming up. And we're just going to go ahead and end this video for you here. So, like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe if you know how. And comment down below. Did you get to spend any time in a pool? I did. And it was fun. She, my best friend got a new pool. It was nice. We had a great time. Thanks for having me, Amy. I love you very much. And until next time, I'll see you real soon.